Hi guys, we're currently in the Isle of Harrison Lewis in Scotland and we found ourselves a beautiful wild camping spot. So, so we thought we'll take the opportunity to show you our review of the Lone Rider ADV tent. ADV tent which weighs about 3.4 kilos it's a one to two people tent and it will fit perfectly into the side pannier of your motorcycle if you have soft luggage you probably won't be able to fit it in unless you have the lone rider semi-rigid um, panniers the tent does fit perfectly in there the lone rider ADV tent comes in a waterproof compression pack and what I really like about it is that it has a hazard warning sign which comes in very handy if you ever break down and it has a molly system which you can secure onto anything let's see what's inside we have this is the ground sheet i really like the design of it it has a reflective sos sign on it in case you ever find yourself in trouble your poles are in here, we'll set them up in a minute and then you've got your packs. The black sheet is the inner tent and then we have the exterior waterproof tent. Let's see how long it takes us to, to set, set it, it up. <laughs> Find a flat area to set up your tent. Lay down the ground sheet, line the inner tent up on top of it and secure the corners with the packs. Then grab the poles, secure the grey hooks against it and add the waterproof water tent last before securing all the packs. Let's take a step back and take a look inside the ADV tent. When you are building the tent, make sure that the grey hooks stay on the outer edge of the center poles. You also need to make sure that the center bars are on top before attaching the door hooks. Before going inside, we love the fact that a lot of it is mesh, but then the waterproof layer is actually quite high, so it keeps us nice and dry, especially in the UK weather. <laughs> Let's go inside. As you can see, there are two entrances, and that's pretty handy because after the water tent comes down, we can store a lot of stuff on each side. And also, you don't get into each other's way if you need to go outside in the middle of the night. For the toilet. <laughs> Inside, we have two sets of ventilation zips, which is very nice, on opposite sides. And then this part will open up to the window when the outer layer goes on. On top of that, we have mesh pockets here on both sides and here on two corners, which are quite handy for putting tissue, net gaiter, cream, uh, the pockets and bags to the sleeping bag. And then on top here, we like to dry our towel usually, <laughs> so it's very handy. These are the door hooks that you must secure before doing the rest of it. Now you can. Just underneath. And the same with this side. Nice and easy. Then you secure this out a bit. That seems about right. And this is the window. If you want a bit more ventilation, because it's surprisingly hot today. This is all our camping gear. We're going to set it up inside of the tent so that you can see what it looks like when it's fully set up. Fiona and I are using the Expat Isomat. It's a medium mat which two people can share. It's a little bit cozy, but it works for us. <laughs> and this is the um, air pump to put the air into that. We each have a Cromolo sleeping bag. We're using the x Light 300. It's suitable up to two degrees Celsius. We get cold easily, so I would say up to five degrees Celsius. But as you can see, it's super small and very compact. Then, of course, we have a sleeping liner. I'm using the Cocoon Expedition Liner, which has an extra ripstop layer. It's super small. It adds about 5 degrees Celsius of warmth to the sleeping bag. 
I highly recommend them. Fiona doesn't like silk, so she's got Egyptian <laughs> cotton. As you can see, it is significantly heavier and bigger. And then we've got the Sea to Summit Eros Pillow Deluxe, which we are sharing. It's very big. We like it, but obviously you can get two individual ones. We're going to set it all up and then we'll show you what the inside looks like afterwards. Let's go. To create more airflow and to enjoy the panoramic view, let's open up the door. You can roll it up nicely. I just like to shove it up here. And that's it. Enjoy the view. My entrance. I always like to close the doors immediately after because I always get bitten by insects. So there. First, the ISO mat, which I won't make you actually watch the whole thing because it does take a little while. Now we're done with the airbag. Well, the pump bag for the ISO mat. Zip it up and put it in the mesh pocket. Same with the ISO mat. And then let these glowworm sleeping bags grow. Now, which zip is this one? This is mine. And this one is yours. And you can choose to zip them together, which we normally do. Um, but first I will take out the sleeping liner because we like to keep the sleeping bag nice and clean so we can actually wash these. And you don't have to wash the sleeping bag as frequently because it's obviously not very good to do that too frequently. And this is my sleeping liner, which is a little bit bigger, but I love it because you get more material and I like the feel on my skin. That's two glow worms done. And last of all, the pillow. Ta-da! Here's our luxurious down pillow. And then, that's the setup for the night. Oh, it's actually really comfy. <laughs> so inside, we always like to keep our microfiber towels to dry up here. Um, it always dries pretty much overnight. Here, for the head mesh pocket, we like to have glasses, just so we can see in the morning once we wake up. Phone, handy. And then on this end, we tend to have like tissue, toilet roll, maybe our neck gaiters. And uh, this is the airflow which we'll probably need tonight, which we'll have here as well next to our head, which is very good. And our last thing is my favorite thing. Our light that you can just hook onto here and it goes white, extra bright, extra bright, or it even turns red. For special evenings, you know. <laughs> and that's it. This is our humble abode. You've seen the tent inside and out. Now it's time to let you know what we think of it. So this is our second year of using the ADV tent. One thing I can say for sure is that it's made of really good, high quality products. And you can feel that quality because we have never ever gotten wet once. And I'm telling you, after motor camping in Wales, in Scotland, where, I mean, we're not usually as lucky, it's been chucking down an awful lot and we have been dry throughout the weather. Given our size, the two of us feel very comfortable sharing it. What we normally do is we have a big dry bag where we shove all our gear in and then we keep it to one side underneath and then we share one entrance and exit. It works for us because it, we are a couple, but yeah. you can definitely, if you leave the panniers on your bike, you're normally able to fit all the other stuff inside um, the entrances. Now, is it the lightest tent to travel around the world with? Probably not. I would say that you can definitely get tents that are as robust 
and good quality that are probably a, a kilo lighter. But what's a kilo on a motorbike? A kilo on a motorbike isn't an awful lot and those tents will set you back upwards of a thousand pounds. So I have to say what I think Lone Rider did very well is that it's a really good quality tent given how much it's being sold for. It is good value for money given the high quality product. So. I think if you're not willing to spend upwards of a thousand pounds on a tent, then That's this is definitely a fantastic choice to go around the world with. Just roll it as tight as possible, like sushi. And now it's waterproof. Okay. Okay, so overall review of the Lone Rider ADV tent. First of all, what I really love about it is the design of the tent. You can tell that it's been designed by riders, for riders. It's really well thought out. I like the layout and the design with all the mesh pockets, all the hooks, um, all the little touches. I love the map on top of it. I love the hazard sign and the reflective SOS ground sheet. So all of that is really great. Secondly, what I really like is that you can feel that it's a very good quality tank. Um, if you look into all the materials that have been used, um, it's really a very robust tent that you can generally travel the world with and you don't need to worry if it's going to break on you. So that I think is great. Thirdly, this tent is very compact. It's very easy to push it into this bag and um, tighten the compression straps and it will generally fit into any pannier of a motorcycle. So that's great. Um, the only downside, if any, is that I think if you look at robust tents that you can travel around the world with, then I don't want to say that this is on the heavier side, but you can probably find something on the market which is maybe a kilo lighter than this. So if weight is your number one priority, then this is probably not the lightest tent on the market. However, if you're looking at a super light compact tent that is robust enough to travel the world, you're probably looking at spending upwards of a thousand pounds. So if you look at the cost point of this tent, I actually do think it's good value for money. So if you're looking to go for a round the world trip and you're not quite willing to spend a thousand pounds or a thousand dollars upwards for a tent, then I do think that this is a fantastic choice and we have certainly been really happy living in it for the last couple of years. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed our review. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Yes, please. Before you go, here are a few photos of us enjoying the Lone Rider ADV tent during our travels. Thanks for watching our review and we'd love to hear your feedback in the comments below. Let us know what tent you travel in. Please subscribe to our channel for more useful reviews or if you want to watch our travel videos from around the world. Make sure you also check out our travel blog if you're looking for travel inspiration or if you want to find out more about our minimalistic camping setup and other helpful information. Thanks for watching!